What's going on everybody, Pro Spotlight here and I have the best plays of Echo in Season 3 Overwatch League. It's gonna be a really fun video, stay tuned, subscribe and like, appreciate it, thank you. Death Blossom value or Big Blizzard, it's just harder to get. Shockwave's forced back, here he does have a duplicate but it's a coalescence in play, the copy is onto the Reaper and straight into the back line, the paratrooper goes! Shockwave finds one, teleports out of the back side of the fight, so quick he almost snapped the neck <laughs> of the Uprising as they tried to follow where he went, and then he drops in! Shockwave, huge performance in this fight, the Daisy Dynamo laying down the law! He's able to get away, the Outlaws though, Taunton, they're gonna be able to get momentum now in point B. And Hydration with another quick charge on his Primal Rage, doing a great job in this fight, and the distraction is making Dante tons of space, and he's working with it very effectively. That's his third pickoff in this fight, and he's not satisfied with that. Picks up a fourth and a fifth. It's all... Shifts over, goes for the Sigma, knock off the side of the map, will find a nice kill there. Arnatobia Shreve will steal away the kill credit in the end, but it's a fantastic cleanup. On the damage that Zen just provides, you're in a great position. Oh my, I don't think the Rain knew what to do about the Widow because they sent Gator in alone to try and deal with Arns and he got picked up because Trichoven went for a, uh, a bit of a peel play. I mean, the, the numbers definitely favor the Shock right now. The fact that Rascal has the audacity to copy <laughs> the Ash when he could have picked anything. Rewinding at 14 HP, dashing around as he's gonna go for the stick right now. There's the clone, Tracer v Tracer. Jin move. Probably wants to go for some tanks right now. He's been a lot of this time not shooting anyone, gets the early pulse bomb, gets the Jinbu. stick! Ooh, that's four for Jinmu! Unbelievable! Another stick! Jinmu right on in! Find yet another kill. Paintbrush is brought back, but the Gladiators are still working with only five, and OG sheepishly tries to back away, but he is run down. Again, the Uprising used the Lucio speed to take the fight to the defenders, and the Gladiators now have a Brig and a Diva to try and squeeze onto the point for some time, but fantastic Shock Trooper play there for the uh, for the Uprising, Matt. The Gladiators, very little time to respond, even less time to get respawns back in. OG, cute shadow, tries to go the 180, fine. The Outlaws is super low after getting hit by the Flux. Doha finds Linkser! A little bit of Echo versus Widow on the other side. Here's Doha, clones the Flux. Nothing but devastation as the fuel continue to keep the Outlaws on the back foot. Right side wraparound from the Defender's perspective. Oh, just Bark worked their way around the side. The bomb's gonna be taken down just as quickly as he had arrived. Barrier set up, and you can see Bernard getting into the back line flank, trying to close this out. 96.6% built up for the Hangzhou Spark. The Immortality Field coming through absolutely clutch. Saves Bebe's life as he continues to heal up the rest of the members of the Hangzhou Spark. Architect pops off in the final fight. To be fair, it's not a very effective ult against the dive bomb, so you kind of want to take some big risks on it and uh, just get the value you can get. But what a burn by Soon. That's going to finish off his Bob Charge, slowing down this rotation once again. Note is immediately burned down. Nico came in off the flank with a big two. And immediately, very early in the fight. And now the Outlaws, one of them pick off after the other. They've lost from help, but it's still very oh. winnable. Dante with the clone mid-air rock. Love to see it. And now the Outlaws with pressure on the point. Vancouver now at six on four. Dalton and Suna both delivering. But Zotto is still alive, has the presence in the back line. Goes for Suna once more. Primal ready to go. And EQO just cleaning up on everything that's being set up. Fortunate enough to do so. Again, next time around, EMP coming through from above. That's just numerous numbers on the side of the NYXL. And here we go again. Another huge play from the Liberal. And Elsa with a supple struck manages to find Kenoshin. Transcend is now coming through to keep everybody alive through the EMPs. And even though it catches out on the four members, it doesn't mean Jack now. Jin moves back. Throws down his own EMP, catches two, and that is just gonna be it. Trying to heal up his team. Shockwave now gets the duplicate off and into the nano boost. Finds one, two kills with the dash. Might be going for the third here, gets it just in time. Across the map. So that's where you see Logix, he really excels on the hit scan heroes. Ash has become more popular as the season has gone on. Now we've seen it happen a few times the last few days, Matt, is that a uh, Zinyata falls a foul of the sticky bombs. <laughs> And there's nothing yeah. that can really be done. Huh? You can't kind of heal him through it. You know, it's not possible. It's burst damage. So Jimmy is, is wow, he's uh, he's causing some problems right now. I think for his old team. Yeah, 
Tiny Atlas can't really follow up on it. Hydration just too low as the Fuel look to take control. They win this fight. They should get the round as Doha. It's a very nice cleanup. Very tough spot. Misato moves in, has a climb already. Shredlock, gonna drop the Shatter. Misato will not be denied. Leaps back over and in. And EQO just taking advantage of all the chaos on the side. That goes well protected. It's not gonna be much. Meanwhile, Dante, he's cloned Sigma. Dante off on the back. And with Mecco down, the Outlaws just looking to pull up the Titans from all sides. Immortality throw keeps alive for a while. They take down Rappel. And the Titans off of Dante starting to turn this fight. Dante a little bit slow. And the Titans. Perhaps they've done enough here. Linkser, though, still in the fight. Dalton swarming around. I think the Titans have this. Happen! Tuba just gets ripped out of the sky by BQB on the Sombra. But Ark says, you know what? This fight's not over just yet. Have a taste of the ground. I'm not sure that's going to be enough. Yaki picking up where BQB left off. The DPS for the Mayhem are off the chain. Way too vulnerable. But here comes another EMP. Great Four man this time. But a great Bionade onto Lip and Void. And Lee gone down immediately. Great focus fire this time. From the Hunter spot. I was literally going to get caught by the EMP once more. Playing aggressive, a little aggressive angle. We're we'll talking about Iris Kyra Ward play style from him. So Hunter Spark going to continue to roll this card a little bit further forward. I've got to say, a lot of this being set up as well by Gushway's Primal Rages. Building them up in a very rapid fashion. I'd be curious to find out what he's doing. the charge rate as well. Just they want on the map. Doha tries to catch a flanker, does punish Linkser, but the stickies from Dante are too good. Outlaws up one already. Crimzo gets caught. That was the target for the Outlaws all along. The most vulnerable piece of the fuel defense. Now Dante. Room the work with. Takes down Doha. The ground sticky bombs. The finish is there. And we have a cool three. Yeah, we do. I mean, he already got the first to open it. So that's a 5k from Dante to just cruise through this. So that's going to be a very crucial pickoff. Further delaying. That transcendence coming through, but he's just going to go ahead and toss out that EMP. Libero will find one, but now Mono going to fall the way for a little bit more. Nano boost in on the Libero, who nearly has that duplicate ready to go. Gravitic Bucks is invested he's as well. Get he gets the duplicate <laughs> off on the Libero. And now it's just going to be you know, a battle of these barriers coming through. But Adora arrives to try to equalize things out a little bit here for the rest of his squad. Beep coming in, Adora is going to be burned uh, down. Libero is an taking away. Back back in. Yaki to bring the back around towards the entrance of the point. Trying to keep everybody alive now with Haile and Bernard falling. So maybe this is going to be possible, but Lip's going to be eliminated from Void's knock out of the back. Did a lot more than that, though. J-Mech from Primal Rage has to pick up some kills here. If they want to pull off the full hold, but it seems like it is not to be. Dream taking the lower, but in the air. But gets the better of all. They can get in it. I mean, they're, they're going to have a bob here, but no Dupier bomb. takes out Cherry. Uh, but it's going to be Color Hex starting into Sigma as well. Yeah, well, I mean, two Sigmas and a Reinhardt on the enemy team. You don't expect to hit a Shadow this time around, but the Gladiators here are having to take them down. Fire other methods. Mirror again finds two, and he's looking extremely good on this Echo. Color Hex dropped out of his own duplicated hits. The enemies to deal with that. Okay, there it is. That's exactly what Dante needs to do, although Supercharger from Gamsu going to suppress the Outlaws. Oh, I mean, aim from Dante! This kid's crazy! Great flank here from Dante. Looks for a little bit more, and that's the answer to the K. Just don't let him see you. Wait while the Infosight is like pull down, go for a flank, and hope for the best. The best happened here. The Outlaws about to get point B. A big advantage moving oh, into this fire. fight. The beam comes through, and it is so much damage. Of course, it does extra damage depending on how low the targets are that you're aiming at. So when they are particularly low, it means you're going to get them. Open. Now what do you do? You can't really contest those logics. You can't be losing that. He takes two shots. The rascal gets a double with the focusing <laughs> beam. Logics is final fight for the Hunter Spark. Only 20 seconds remaining. So you have to use the application matrix for the first pick. Will go the way of Gushway. Architect follows up with two more. Architect is playing out of his mind. The duplicate is ready and waiting, and this time he wants to have a go with the Ash himself. Bob built up off of one dynamite. Are you kidding me? And it's gonna be a duplicated Bob sat in the corner. He's having a very old time right now, peppering them away from the distance. The Hunter Spark steamrolling it. The overtime is certainly ticking, but can the Shanghai Dragons turn this one around? They've got them all. He was playing the defensive Winston. Keeping good pace with J-Mac, and now can go ahead and surge ahead as Flutter gets the beam in. You'll notice Scientist that. Scientist and all those burned down by the dry shot. It's pretty easy to see why Lip is doing, building so many quick EMPs. 
It's because the tank line, it's like not even close. On in. And this is very tough now for the Titans. Unless they equalize, Rule ends up falling, and that's going to be it. The Outlaws taking Volskaya away from the Titans. And now, have to be considering, is this going to be a sweep? Yeah, you know, I just feel like the Titans' strategy is not effective. Because you get back in, Sato's Primal ready to drop here. Dreadlock under heavy assault. Pops Primal just in time, though. Got very, very low. Duo going to lose duplicate. Now the fusion. Still control. They get Suna out of the fight. Still pretty healthy here. KSA's bomb up and over the top. Being able to get away from it. So, just kind of limps back over the base after a Primal. Job well done. And Vancouver just kind of struggling here, Jake, as they're down to under a minute. Yeah, push over. Eco with a big pickoff onto his counterpart, and that just equals. San Francisco making them look like. I mean, they're making it look like plants right now. It's, it's not pretty. Nice sleep Fade there. Fade away loses Bob off the edge. And a sleep there on Gator. Rascal now's going to copy the Winston. And this has gone from a competition to an all out massacre. Yes, that Rascal now will take out Massa here as he has to retreat. As, uh... Gargoyle is caught alone, though, by the high noon isolation. So it works out for the Justice overall. Yaki, though, doesn't want to give up. He's Ryan. Huge shatter in the back line. Yaki charging in, gets the pickup on his own, solo carrying this fight, somehow keeping it interesting. Another shatter! The classic echo. He's popping off. I don't know if it's enough. A third one! Yaki, God, he's going crazy in the back line. All right, they're going to have to contest here. Forward. Treadlock getting melted. Yaki manages to find Dalton taking him down from above the sticky bombs. They pop. They get that kill, and now Yaki is just all up in everyone's face. Dropping in on top, getting a, a, quite a bit of damage through here. Uh, to just about everybody on the side of the Titans, they're just 1.6 meters away.